Hello everyone, this is Maleshwari. Welcome to our channel Chemistry with Maleshwari. Up to now, we have completed the topics from electrochemistry that is Faraday's laws of electrolysis, electrochemical equivalent, chemical equivalent and problems on Faraday's laws and also the differences between metallic conductors and electrolytic conductors and the important terms of electrochemistry. Okay, now I am going to explain about galvanic cell. Okay, so what is meant by galvanic cell and how it will be constructed and what are the chemical reactions of galvanic cell and how it will be works. Okay, now see the definition of galvanic cell. See the definition of galvanic cell. So, Galvanic cell also called as electrochemical cell and Daniel cell. Galvanic cell is defined as it is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy by spontaneous oxidation reduction to generate electricity. Okay, now see it is a device. which converts chemical energy into electrical energy by spontaneous oxidation reduction takes place or electric current okay so this is the definition of galvanic cell so galvanic cell is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy by spontaneous oxidation reduction reactions means the device which converts chemical energy into electricity or electrical energy so a device I take chemical energy nunchi electrical energy produce chestundo aa device ni galvanic cell antaru so what type of chemical reactions takes place here spontaneous oxidation reduction reactions so the type of chemical reactions in galvanic cell are oxidation and reduction okay that takes place spontaneously spontaneity so spontaneous ga oxidation reduction reactions jarugutundi Alla jaradam valla chemical energy kaasta electricity or electrical energy ga convert out undi. Daan use chese device ni galvanic cell an chiptar. Ok. So it is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Idhu ka device adhi chemical energy nanchi electrical energy ga maarus tundi. By yala ante the spontaneous oxidation reduction reactions. Continuous and spontaneous ga, akada spontaneous ga oxidation reduction reactions jarugutai. So, to produce or to generate electric current. In the book, oxidation reduction reactions jarugutu nai to generate electric current or electricity. Okay, so electricity ni produce shayera aniki, galvanic cell lo, continuous ga, so electricity produce shayera aniki, Galvanic cell lo spontaneous oxidation reduction reactions jarugutai. Ala jaragadam valla chemical energy kaasta electrical energy ga convert avutundi. So that device is called as galvanic cell. So we, uh, we can take an example that is Daniel cell and also called as electrochemical cell. Okay. Now see the construction and working of galvanic cell. Okay. How it will be constructed and how it will be works. Okay, see the construction of galvanic cell here. So, construction. Okay, so galvanic cell contains two half cells. One half cell uh, represents oxidation and another half cell represents reduction reactions. Okay, see it contains two half cells.
half cells it contains two half cells so first half cell contains zinc sulfate solution first half cell contains zinc sulfate solution and in which there is a zinc rod can be dipped so in which we can dip a zinc rod or zinc electrode so first half cell contains zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution this is zinc rod okay and the another half cell contains copper sulfate solution so in which we can dip a copper rod okay so here we can dip a copper rod in copper sulfate solution so this is copper sulfate and this is copper rod copper rod in copper sulfate okay so two half cells are connected through a voltmeter so two half cells are connected through a wire by the voltmeter so both the electrodes connected to voltmeter okay and this is called as inverted u shaped salt bridge this is called inverted u shaped salt bridge this is called as salt bridge okay so this is the construction of galvanic cell first of all so this is the construction of galvanic cell so it contains two half cells first half cell contains zinc rod or also called as zinc electrode dipped in zinc sulfate solution copper electrode dipped in copper sulfate solution and both both the electrodes connected through a voltmeter and also there is a salt bridge between the two half cells and here zinc rod acts as anode which is negative charge copper rod acts as cathode which is positive charge okay so zinc electrode act as anode so anode is negative charge in galvanic cell and here copper is a cathode copper is a cathode okay so this is the construction of galvanic cell and how it will be works and how this cell produces electricity so this cell ela work chestundi ela electricity ni produce chestundi now see okay so see zinc rod means pure zinc that is zinc so zinc rod or zinc electrode undergo oxidation by loss of an electron means oxidation is called as loss of an electrons oxidation is called as loss of electrons reduction is called as gain of an electrons reduction is called as gain of an electrons uh, if we remember these two terms we can understand the reactions between the two half cells okay so oxidation means loss of electron zinc electrode acts as anode and undergo oxidation copper electrode acts as cathode and undergo reduction okay how the oxidation and reduction takes place in galvanic cell so now see what happened at anode so at anode loss of electrons takes place loss of electrons how the loss of electrons takes place so here zinc electrode loses the electrons into zinc sulfate solution and forms as zn2 plus ion so zinc pure zinc electrode loses the electrons and formed as zn2 plus ions so 
pure zinc lost the electrons that's why we can call it as oxidation reaction okay so the released electrons can be enters into zinc sulfate solution okay so the electrons now moves towards the circuit okay moves towards the circuit and enters into copper sulfate solution so ikkada zinc release chesina electrons ee circuit lo nunchi copper electrode daggaruku vachestayi ee solution lo ki vachestayi now cu so4 means cu2 plus and so4 to minus cu2 plus ions and so4 to minus ions so the electrons from this anode to accept the cu2 plus present in the cu so4 so listen carefully zinc release chesina electrons ikkada nunchi circuit lo nunchi copper sulfate lo ki vastayi so copper sulfate ante cu2 plus kada so akkada ikkada release chesina electrons copper teesukoni accept chestundi gain chestuntundi so copper 2 plus accepts electrons from anode and deposited as a copper at copper electrode okay so zinc rod zinc electrode electrons ni last chesi idantha zn2 plus ga solution antha zn2 plus ga indulo ki vachestundi electrons matram ikkada ki vachestayi okay zinc pure zinc release chesina electrons it vachestayi zinc emo zn2 plus ga martha electrons release chesaka zn2 plus ga kada convert ayindi ee zn2 plus ikkada ki vachestundi so ee electrons copper sulfate lo unna cu2 plus ion accept chestundi ala accept cheyadam valla copper 2 plus ion undergo reduction by gaining of an electrons so loss of an electron takes place here gain of an electron takes place at the cathode okay zinc electrode lost the electrons copper sulfate gains the electron okay so ikkada electrons anni ikkada vachestayi so ikkada unna mottam electrons anni ikkada vachestayi ikkada matram zinc lo electrons ellipoyi zn2 plus anta ikkada untundi so the uh, overall reaction can be write like this so this one and this one will be cancel so zn plus zn plus cu2 plus gives rise to zn2 plus plus cu means zinc electrode undergo oxidation copper electrode undergo reduction zinc electrode undergo oxidation means loss of electrons takes place copper electrons undergo reduction okay so this is the overall reaction of galvanic cell okay so at anode zinc electrode lost the electrons and forms as zn2 plus and at cathode copper uh, ions accept electrons and forms as a cu pure cu by the reduction okay and the overall reaction means oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously okay at a time oxidation takes place and reduction takes place but whenever zinc electrode uh, loses the electrons the zn2 plus ions accumulates here from the zinc electrode electrons can be moved towards this side and zn2 plus ions are in the solution and also the electron uh, crowd okay the electrons more number of electrons are enters into uh, cuso4 and there is an accumulation of electrons takes place here so more number of electrons are accumulated here so to remove this accumulation of charges or to prevent the accumulation of charges here we can place a salt bridge here so here a salt bridge we can see here a salt bridge that is inverted u shaped salt bridge what is the salt bridge here so salt bridge is so what is the salt bridge here so salt bridge is made up of by agar agar gel which is saturated with the salt solution like 
KCl, KNO3 or NH4NO3 etc. So these type of salts are added along with agar agar gel. So this U shaped tube filled with agar agar gel and saturated with either KCl or means potassium chloride, KNO3 means potassium nitrate, ammonium nitrate, NH4NO3. So, this is agar agar gel mix hai poi, ye, uh, tube lo hundundi. So, this is acting a barrier between the two half cells. So, here salt bridge acts as a barrier between two half cells. How? So, there is accumulation of zinc sulfur, uh, ZN2 plus ions here and accumulation of electrons here. To, it maintains electrical neutrality. So, through this salt bridge, there is a KCl, K plus Cl minus ions. So, Cl minus ions neutralizes the ZN2 plus and K plus neutralizes the electron crowd. Means, the accumulation of charges will be prevented by this salt bridge. First one, that is the use. Uh, salt bridge use or chessy. Accumulation of charges will be prevented by salt bridge. And also, it maintains electrical neutrality. So, here the accumulation of positive charges, accumulation of negative charges. So, that will be maintains neutral. So, electrical neutrality maintains ki salt bridge help. And also, the salt bridge prevent physical mixing of both the solutions, zinc sulfate and copper sulfate. Okay, so if you zinc sulfate separate ga, copper sulfates in separate ga, rendu half cells ga tis kunda. Alla ka kunda, direct ka physical ka mixture sa man kundi, there is no galvanic cell production. Okay, accumulation of charges, overload, anedanda jarutundi. So because separate ga tis kuni, is salt bridge undadam valla, mana physical ka mix ka kunda chusuna. Okay, so that is the use of salt bridge. Okay, so see once again, this is the construction of galvanic cell. Galvanic cell is a device in which conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy by spontaneous oxidation reduction to generate electricity. Electricity produced here and ki, continuous ga oxidation reduction jargi, chemical energy ni electrical energy ga marustundi. Okay, and yellow construction chase the root. Two half cells. First two half cell is also called as oxidation half cell. Means this is anode and first two half cell it undergo oxidation. Okay, and second half cell there is a reduction takes place. That's why this is called as oxidation half cell and this is called as reduction half cell. And both the half cells are connected to voltmeter means how much electricity generate. Okay, that will be measured by voltmeter. Okay, and uh, again there is a salt bridge between the two half cells. Okay, and at anode always oxidation takes place by the loss of an electron from zinc electrode. At cathode reduction takes place by gaining of an electron towards copper sulfate solution. Okay, so continuous oxidation reduction takes place and if any accumulation of charges takes place here, that will be neutralized by the salt bridge. So salt bridge is made up of by agar agar gel saturated with some salt solutions like KCl, potassium chloride, potassium nitrate and ammonium nitrate solutions. Okay, so this is about galvanic cell. Okay, so in the next class, we will see another topic from the electrochemistry. Okay. Okay. I hope you understand. Thank you.